hello welcome back uh, welcome back to my channel today I'm going to make some fudge um, I've got a milk chocolate and a white chocolate so what I'm going to do is in the slow cooker I should have mentioned I'm going to do it in the slow cooker switch that on high don't need a lid I've already broken up the chocolate and basically goes in there That was, just put that in the bin, that was 400 grams. Now I've seen people suggest that you should use 400 and 500. So, I'm going to use 450. So we'll see how that one turns out. 500 mils of uh, condensed milk. Ooh. <laughs> Could just eat this now. Five grams of butter. And a teaspoon of vanilla. I guess you could use any flavour, but I do love vanilla. Take a spoon out. No, nah, you know what? Oh, chocolate on my fingers. Right, what you do is um, this should take about an hour. Uh, give it a stir every 15 minutes. Some people give it a stir straight away, but you know what? I'm just going to let it melt. For a little bit so I'm going to set a timer 15 minutes I'm going to return and give it its first stir this is what it's looking like as I say I've just literally switched this on thrown in all the ingredients and uh, I'm not going to bother stirring it until it starts to melt so I've got that on high and uh, return in 15 minutes to give it its first stir. This first 15 minutes is up and I can feel the heat of the slow cooker building up. Obviously it's not quite enough to um, melt the stuff yet but we're just in the early part of it. So Anyway, that's the first stir. Uh, oh, must make out if you ever try this at home, use a plastic or a metal spoon. Don't use a wooden spoon. You'll be in a big world of sticky mess. So, that's the first stir. Uh, probably about three more to do. And uh, come back in another 15 minutes. 
Right, this is now the second stir. Here we go, it's coming on a lot better now. Oh, I just want to bury my face in this. This is now half an hour. Good old stir. Looking good. Right. Give that another 15 minutes. Okay, this is what it's looking like at stirring number three. Oh, while this is uh, doing its thing, I'm actually preparing to make a roast chicken dinner. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. This is looking really good. I often wondered how they made fudge, particularly the uh, different colours and stuff. I'm sort of familiar with this kind of colour. Not too dark, not too light. But anyway, what a smell of this. Oh, it smells lovely. Right, leave that for another 15 minutes and uh, we'll see what it looks like then. Here we go, the final stir. That's broke down just nicely. Right, what I shall do now is turn off the pot and I'm going to tip that into a tray. Okay guys, so uh, it's now done. Um, what I'm going to do is, to try and save on a bit of mess, I bought some disposable trays. So I kind of sort of fashioned one with the uh, turned up edges. I don't know how that's going to work out. Right. What I need to do is pull this. Spread that out evenly. Don't want that to spill out. Right, I'm going to set this aside. Let that cool down for a little while. Then I'm going to whack it in the fridge. Uh, they say for a minimum of two hours. They say it's best overnight. I don't know because I've never done this before. Well, I'm going to give it at least two hours and then I'm going to see what it looks like but that is homemade fudge in a slow cooker so let's see what that one looks like in a couple of hours okay everybody it is the next day I did attempt to cut this after about three hours uh, yesterday but it was still a little bit gooey I don't know what it's going to look like cutting it now however oh you know what leaving it overnight was definitely the better option still a bit gooey Continue cutting this, stick it in a bowl or something or on a plate, and uh, 
I'll show you what it's like when I finish doing that. Okay guys, it's now finished. The cutting process is very messy. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna win any prizes for presentation. That doesn't look appetizing, does it not? I'll tell you what though. I think it looks good. Now for the taste. You know, in some parts of it, it's actually pretty hard, like you would buy in a shop. Mm. Oh wow. You know what? If not the same taste, better than you would buy. I tipped in that little bit extra vanilla. Instead of a teaspoon, it was probably more of a dessert spoon size. That was bang on. So uh, would I do that again? Hell yes. And uh, Thanks for watching, um, give it a try yourself, give it a thumbs up if you like it, again if you haven't subscribed, in that corner, and uh, I'm going to surprise me daughter now, and I'll see you on the next adventure.